Hey guys, this is Roto, and today it is around 40, 50 degrees, right? So that means that I could clean my Civic. So uh, let's see. And this will be the first time that I'll be able to use this. Or actually, no, not this one, because I've already used it, but um, this, what do you call this? No, uh, nozzles, right? So I'm using the white one, the 40 degree um, nozzle. Then I'm gonna use the Kranzel, so. I think right now, oh man, Kranzel's like heavy. We're not gonna, you know, like clean it all the way, cause I mean, you can see the there's still snow anyway, so it's gonna get dirty again. It's more of like just to remove the salt and whatever that we have there. So I don't think I need a, I have a use for the gun anymore or the Kranzel one. So I'm just gonna put it here and I know I can, I'm gonna need to buy a new set of cabinets. And also, like, this is the car soap that I have right now. I know it's not ideal for um, cleaning the cars because this is what I was using before I had the um, Kranzel. So, also, it's like cold. I might need to wear some gloves here. So let's see, Ooh, am I still filming? Let's see, yeah, I am still filming. Just wearing gloves. So there's still like a lot of um, components that are missing, right, from my car cleaning setup. Uh, so I have the pressure washer, I have the, um, Foam cannon PF22, and then I have the Kranzel pressure washer. Uh, what else? What do I not have? I don't have a um, two bucket um, system yet. I know, like, that's one of the first things that people usually buy because you know it's the one of the cheaper um, components that you can buy right away. I opted to buy the more expensive ones. Kranzel being the first one, and then PF22, and then the um, high, oh, high pressure gun. Um, and then after that, it's probably gonna be the um, two bucket um, component system that probably has like a dolly I'm not sure if I'll be buying it from Obsessed Garage or not. Matt has definitely like some good packages out there. Um, and, you know, figured just buy from him instead. Um, I, I mean, I bought all of this stuff from Amazon, not from Obsessed Garage, but I feel like, you know, I could just buy it from Obsessed Garage and be done with it. <laughs> Since what he has is what I like as well anyway, so. And I know I haven't patched this hole yet, so. Whatever. Let's see. Take this out. Not sure if you guys can see it, but I think you can. straighten out and just connect this I have to cover this it's just awful and then turn this on this is the system let's 
move it a bit forward. I love the quick connect systems. Is this connected already? I think I need to push some more. There we go. And then, I also need to clean this up, but I don't want to spray this one yet because the MC is going to get wet. So, try this one, 40 degree. See if it works really well or not. Everything has a quick connect. It's not connecting properly. So it just needs a little push there. So, turn the water on. Is there a leak? Ooh, there's a leak. Hmm. Okay, there's a leak. So I will fix that. Oh, I think it's just this one. I need to like tighten it up, but that should do it. There we go. Make sure everything's okay. There you go. No leaks whatsoever. Turning pencil on. There you go. I'm not sure if it's like too loud, but as long as I clean the car and remove the salt, right? Yeah, 40 degrees is fine. Making sure that the underbody is clean as well. tires. some of the salt.
this works really well up close i want to when I, whenever i clean my car i want to clean it up like up close not with like a wand like that so i like it a lot You guys can see how clean the un underbody is, at least the um, plastic stuff. That's because I clean it almost like every time I clean my car. Ooh, the tab is like getting loose so I need to buy new ones. Is it King King? No. Good enough at least cleaning or remo removing the salt. So yeah, I can clean this later, but that should be good enough. Just place it there for a bit, and then. Let's see. It's like the old one, so I don't really have a nice way of measuring it. And you'll see like in the foam that, you know, that comes out of this. This is not really like for uh, a foam ca cannon, but this is what I use. Uh, I don't have a way of measuring it right now, so I just put like a lot. So like to me like, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, yeah, that should be good enough too. And once you know, I'm planning. I'm planning to buy like three um, car shampoos. To compare, one is like the Adams um, Super Foam, and then the other one is um, what's the other one? Coming from Chemical Guys. I'm just gonna put this here.
I love Quick Connects. Alright, that's it. Let's see. That should be good enough. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to shake this. Get real quick. That should be good enough. All right. Tighten this up, you can see that there's water coming out. Is that cracked? That looks like a crack. I'm gonna have to call MTM on that one. Looks like a crack to me. So let's just let it let it soak for five for more minutes, and that's it. I'll probably just like wash it again later, but that definitely looks like a crack. Let's see if I could just like tighten this up and and, and see if that fixes it. out and see if it still like spills or whatever. Nope. So fixed I guess. And so see here's like the problem right? Since I don't have a two bucket um, system, then like the 
car has the potential to get a lot of scratches, especially like in this type of you know weather. But that's how it is, and I'm you know looking to budget it in the next couple of months. I want to try like the what is this? The 25 degree nozzle. See what it's like. I don't know what's better or not. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for a couple more, then clean it up after. This one's dirty. Let's see. So that's dirty. Let's see if it's going to clean it up. Nope. Guess I'm going to have to scrub it later when spring comes. So yeah, so I have the Kranzel now. I have the nozzles. I don't have the bent lens yet, so I might just get it from Obsessed Garage because Matt adds like quick connects to it as well so and here's the M2 sitting waiting until spring I just love the Civic man like it's a really nice car to have like I know it's not the SI but for me I'd rather have that I mean the SI would be nice but I bought this car like EX with navigation and I think at that time the SI wasn't available for, for sedans. That's why I bought the EX to have a four-door. But like as a couple of months, the SI um, sedan was released, and I was like, as a college student back then, I was like, man, like I couldn't like sell the car again and, and buy the SI. Right? It's too much of a financial trouble for me. So, I think that's it. This should be good enough. Uh, I don't know how long I've been talking, but I plan on like replacing the bumper. It's either like replacing the bumper because there's a hole or just buying the HFP, um, the HFP or yeah, Honda Factor performance part. So the HFP um, front lip part, and might as well just buy the one with side, side skirts and bumpers. Like I'm, I really plan on keeping this car for like a long time. This is like my first car, my first brand new car that I bought. I had the 240 before, but that's it. All right, time to see if it's clean now or if I need to scrub it again. Wash it again. You know what? I've never actually measured the pressure coming out of the 25 degree nozzle. Fifteen hundred. That should just be fine.
floors are probably like dirty as well too. See that? Dirty. Dirty as well. But I know it's gonna be dirty. Just trying to clean the car. as I can because I know it's going to snow again. Yeah, I like the nozzles a lot. I really can't tell the difference between a 25 or um, 40 degree nozzle. So let's see, 25 degrees. That's what it looks like. For 40 degree, this is what it looks like. And how much does a 40 degree use as far as pressure is concerned? Same. I think 40 degree has a higher spray pattern. That's opposed to like a 25 degree one. clean or at least I think it's clean Seriously though, I can do this all day. It's not beating, right? Yeah, as far as you know, the paint of this car is concerned, it's not really that great. And it's better than most people that own this type of car but it's not 
M2 grate, right? That one has been coated and then also has Expel all over it, you know? And I make sure that I scratch it at the least amount of possible ways. But for the Civic, it's more like, eh, it's fine. So, I think that's it. I'm gonna dry it out now. Well, I'm gonna first see if, you know, if it's okay or not. So, yellow ones are for the M2. And then the clean ones or clean ones and assorted ones are for the Civic. So that's what I'm gonna use, but for now I think that's it. So I'm gonna dry it up and we'll see. Wait, I'm gonna start recording first because I'm gonna do some stuff inside of the house and I'll Turn it on again. So, hold on. Okay, that sucks. Cause, all right, I think I'm gonna have to do it on the GroPro itself. All right. So I'm gonna dry up the car. This is moist now. Let's see. Is it? I think, it's, I think the car is clean. But as far as... Yeah, like... I can't believe it cleaned it. I thought it was gonna need like another um, cleaning session, I guess. But it's clean. Like I know people use like different sets of towels. I probably would have too. I mean, I have a bunch of towels anyway. But just not in the mood for winter. And since I'm gonna be buying some polishers as well, so I'll care too much right now. Maybe I should care. I don't know. But like it's fine. So I'm just gonna dry it out. Oops. Yeah whatever. I don't care. I guess this is how most people clean their cars. That's why they get a lot of swirls. Okay, so let's see, this is dry, right? So if I do this... Is it gonna be... dirty? We'll see. If 
you guys are wondering why I'm not using a microfiber towel, it's because I'm just being lazy right now. Like the, the pain is already not great. car is like 10 years old and when I first got the car I wasn't really aware of like how to clean it but now I'm aware is it dirty? I don't think it's Dirty. Actually, you know what? Let me just get an actual microfiber towel in. That way, you guys don't scream at me. So, let's see. Orange it is. The yellow ones for the M2. They're there. Civic though, gets the smaller ones. Just throw it away. So let's see. That. What's that? Rubber? <laughs> that feels a lot better. Because I know I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go over this again from the top. But make sure that this are also like clean. Not tall enough to cover all of it. There's no scratches in the window. There's some scratches here, but not terrible. Also for those that are a lot more knowledgeable than me, what's the difference between this side and that side? Right? Like I know for some microfiber microfiber towels they're different. And this one's different too. Looks clean, so car's clean. Again, I can't believe that that spray cleaned it. I really thought I was gonna use another one. But, you know, when I'm able to buy the car parts for this one to cover, you know, some of the, um, damages that it had before right bumper the, the bumper hole and then some of the um little tiny dents since i love this car so much i'm willing to spend money on it like i'm i don't know how much this car is worth right now but I'm pretty sure it's not worth the amount of money that I want to spend on it. Like, I want to buy 
some HFP uh, side skirts for it. There's, there's some dirt. Is it, is it just my hand or the car itself? So this towel is just for this bumper. Then I'm gonna get a new one. Yep. Get a new one. So this is dirty. All the dirty ones go there. All the clean ones, since I wash my microfiber towels, I can reuse them. I don't throw them. I don't throw them away. I think it's a waste of money if you throw them away. Yeah, it looks, it really is clean. Like, you know how sometimes when you wipe the car and there's still some dirt, like it's gonna show up on the rag, but this one, nothing's really like showing up. It's not terribly dark. Just weird. Uh, at least I think that it's weird. I thought it would be way dirtier than expected. Every time I see this hole, it's my fault why there's a hole here. Like, there was a pile of snow and I tried to run it over, but it's actually ice, so it's like, oops. And at that time, you know, I didn't have like the M2, so I was like, really mad but then to me it was more like eh it's okay so that's it for now I want to play bar this car too I think that's it. It's gonna get another one to make sure most of it is dry, but the car's still dirty, right? It's not like a full clean or a deep clean, I guess. It's just to make sure that when you touch it, you're not like, ugh, it's dirty. At least this one isn't that dirty compared to other cars out there. So I wanna make sure that there's no streaks in the window. Oh, let's dry this up too. I gotta buy some of the, I don't know what people use to make this black again. Like I want it to be like black for a long time, not like after a month, you're gonna have to spray it again or something. I don't like that. 
I want a semi-permanent solution. Maybe like a year, not reapplying it. That would be nice if there is one. So, also for some reason, like this isn't like straight. Like, when it tries to, when it's on, like, see, there's like some excess wiper going on, or, yeah, excess blade, but I don't know why it's doing that. I bought the right size. This car, it looks clean outside, but <laughs> it's still dirty inside. Okay, that's it. Gotta clean that. Car is clean in, in a way. I'm just gonna go around it and dry it some more. I don't know. I'm just gonna do like a deep clean for this car when it's like, oops, when it's like spring or something. Cause Today, I know it's just gonna, like right now is an exce exception, because it's 50 degrees, but for the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be like 30s again, or below zero, so. And it's just gonna keep snowing. I'm in the Midwest, so snows a lot. See this right here? I want to get rid of that. I want to repaint this car. I'm willing to spend, I don't know, an adequate amount of money just to make this look like brand new again it's just one of those things where like I don't like you have an M2 you know why don't you spend money on that instead I mean I'm gonna spend money on the M2 as well you know but this car holds a special place in my heart. So my first brand new car and I'm not really willing to sell it. Also headlights. See? So looks clean now so time to clean up. And it's just dirty but Whatever, this is dirty as well. Just wait until spring and I'm gonna clean it all up. So time to take out or at least clean the cranzo. I'm just getting rid of the um, water now. I mean, I, I did turn off the water, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let me see, did I turn the water off? Yep, I did. I did turn off the water. 
So just gonna spray some. There you go. Cleaning it up. That's it. Time to clean or store the crayons of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Store the crayons of again. So I used the 25 degree nozzle. I also used the oh the 40 degree. And then I also use the 25 degree nozzle. So this one is done now. Store it. Make sure that no water is coming out. This one, make sure everything's good. Oops. This one, Perfect. I don't really care too much, but I want it to be at the very least, like straight, at least. I guess I should face this way, make it easier. Now let's make it easier to roll. There you go. Should be good enough. gonna wash my cleaning gloves later store the cranzel huh. my wife stored this In a weird way. So, you do that. Ta da! And that's it. Thanks for watching me clean my Civic <laughs> during winter. Hopefully, next year I'm gonna have more cleaning components to use that way you know both cars are treated the same way all right guys have a good one uh.